Bonan. Once upon a time, in a little house in the forest, there lived three little pigs, Honky, Ponky, and Minky. They lived with their mother. Honky was very lazy. Ponky was very carefree and easygoing. And Minky, the smallest one, was smart, forward-thinking, and a brave pig. He behaved as if he was the father of the house. Whenever there was a problem, their mother would always resolve it with Minky. The others wouldn't even move a muscle. Despite the fact that these three brothers were so different, they really loved one another. In their spare time, after sleeping and eating, they always played hide and seek in the forest. Three, four, five. Honky and Ponky always napped in the spot in which they were hiding, and Minky would find them each time wake them up, and then tag them. Minky had no other option than to accept his brothers the way they were. I'm always it. It's not fair. I'm so tired of looking for you. <laughs> oh, let me sleep a little bit more. <laughs> He'll spend all day searching for me. <laughs> Children, don't go too far away whilst playing. You know that the forest is dangerous. It's full of hungry wolves. Honky and Ponky expected their mother to do everything for them. Minky, however, always helped their mother. One day, he took their mother aside. Mum, this can't go on like this any longer. We're the ones who always bring the wood from the forest. You get tired cooking for us every day. I think my brothers and I should leave and we should take care of ourselves. Don't be ridiculous, Minky. You're all my children. I'm used to it all. Of course, Mum. But my brothers should learn to take responsibility. It'll be good for them too. Huh? What do you say? I think you're right, Minky. Then let's talk to your brothers tomorrow and put this idea straight into action. I'd saved all of you a bit of money. I'll split it to three and give it to you all. Everyone should build his or own house. Let's see what happens. Even though Minky's brothers were shocked at their mother's idea, all three little pigs, bags in their hands, set off on the road the next day to start their new lives. They were very excited. They parted with their mother at the door. Mom, I'm so sorry I upset you by being so lazy all the time. See you. Mom, mm. I never listened to anything you told me. I upset you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. From now on, I'll remember everything you've told me. Goodbye. Mum, don't be sad that I'm leaving. After I finish my house, I'm going to come and get you. Take care. Their mother was very concerned that something bad could happen to them in the forest. Take care of yourself, kids. Let me know how you are. And please watch out for treacherous wolves. The three little pigs walked for a while and finally decided on a spot for their new houses. It was quite far away from their home. Minky especially wanted it to be like this. He didn't trust his brothers. He thought that they should really learn to take care of themselves and not run straight to their mother at the first problem they are faced with. It was first Honky that found a spot for his house. Because he was lazy, he was choosing the easiest option. I'll make my house from hay, and once I make my bed from hay too, I'll be nice and warm throughout the winter. I won't have to work so hard. I'll also have some money left because it's cheap and easy to build a house of hay. Punky was nearly the same. I'm going to make my house out of wood. I'll also paint it nicely. This is the best option. If I rent one room out, then I won't even have to work. I think it'll be easy to make a house out of wood. Guys, are you crazy? How can there be a house from hay and wood? You're both picking the easiest options again. If I were you, I would think about it again. You take care of yourself, Tiny. And he's telling us what to do. You short pig, you. <laughs> the three little pigs were building their houses close to one another. Hunky had built his house out of hay in one day. He had even started to fall asleep on his bed of hay 
and Ponky built a scrappy house within a day with the wood that he had bought. Oh, even this house is too much for me. As long as I have a roof over my head, I don't care about anything else. Minky was going to make his house out of brick. First, he carried the brick, and then he dug a large base. Then, in the next couple days, he built a wonderful house with four rooms and a fireplace out of brick and cement. I'll carry water and wood for old people and take care of their gardens. I'll go to the market for them. This way I can be of use to everyone. And I'm sure they will give me a plate of food and an allowance. It wasn't long before the dangerous wolf in the forest got the smell of the three little pigs. First, he went to Hunky's door. Neighbour, my sweet neighbour, welcome. Can I come in so that we can meet? I live nearby. This must be the voice of the wolf that Mother warned us about. As far as I know, there aren't any neighbors around. I know who you are, you horrible wolf. I'm not going to open the door. The wolf got really angry. Get out of there quickly. My breath is incredibly strong. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. No, my house is strong. You cannot destroy it. The wolf took a step back, took a deep breath in, and then he huffed and puffed towards the house with all his might. The house of hay completely fell apart. Honky managed to escape and ran straight to Minky's house. Minky, the wolf came to my door and destroyed my house. And I ran to you. I think he's going to Ponky now. Quick, close the door. Oh no! Let's call him and let him know right away. Hello, Ponky. Get out of the house immediately. The wolf is coming towards you. Hello? Minky, is that you? Ah! Look at what you're fussing over. My house is solid. There's no way he can get in. Indeed, the wolf who hadn't managed to catch Honky was headed straight towards Ponky's house. Yoo-hoo! Anyone home? Little pig, I bought you a small gift from your little brother. Open the door, let me come inside and let's talk a little. He wouldn't have time to send me a gift from his sleep. Either way, my brothers called me to let me know that you were coming. You stupid wolf! I'm not opening the door. Now get out of here. So you're not opening? Okay then. My breath is incredibly strong. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Not wanting to leave empty-handed, the treacherous wolf gave the house a couple of kicks. Then after huffing and puffing on the scrappy house, it fell apart. Pinky managed to escape and get to Minky's house. Quick, open the door, Minky. The wolf's going to catch me. Please hurry up. Minky took his second brother into the house too. The three of them were shaking with fear. The three brothers sat down and started thinking. I think it's your turn, Minky. He's coming here for sure. Yes, I think so too. We must find a way to free ourselves from this wolf once and for all. But how? The three pigs quickly made a plan. Gotta make a plan, guys. Good idea. And started to wait for the wolf. Come on. When the wolf arrived at Minky's house, he called out. I know the three of you are there. Come out nicely, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow this house down too. Come on, what are you waiting for? Break it down if you can. Turn around, go, and leave us alone. The furious wolf started kicking the door and the walls. There were three locks on the door, but the three pigs stared at each other with fear and hugged one another tightly as they watched the door. The wolf kicked, huffed, and puffed, but he couldn't destroy Minky's house. Suddenly, an idea popped into the wolf's head. He was going to enter the house through the chimney. He went onto the roof by placing a ladder against the house. 
He managed to squeeze himself into the chimney and let himself fall. The three pigs were waiting for this moment. Right away they lit a fire in the fireplace and started to watch. Since the wolf hadn't seen smoke in the chimney before, he hadn't thought of a fire. Falling quickly and straight down the chimney, he burnt himself from the fire. As fast as a jet, he went right back up the chimney in so much pain. Help! Help! I'm on fire! Help! 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 <laughs> Finally, the wolf's time is over. He'll never come back. Now, it's time to go get our mother. My house is pretty big and there's a room for each of us. I've missed her very much, haven't you? Have I? I won't be lazy ever again. I'll sort out of the shopping from now on. I missed her too. And I will do the gardening from now on. I'm going to grow fruits and vegetables and help our mother. Yes, all of us must help Mum by doing some of the housework and make her comfortable. We can also help some of our neighbours too. Thus, Honky and Ponky changed a lot. Everyone started to look up to Clever Minky. With this wonderful ending, they took their mother in with them and they lived happily ever after. Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondasan and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.